As previously discussed, CNC is a versatile manufacturing method. It can make extremely precise final parts and is a method used to create most factory plastic forming dies out of metal. Another capability of CNC is making volumetric, one-sided forms for heat forming sheet plastic. Vacuum forming is a process in which flat extruded sheet plastic is shaped over a master form with heat and suction. The plastic used in this process can vary in thickness and texture, but calls for thermoplastic sheet as it may need to be heated and formed multiple times. There are a few steps to vacuum forming. First, the sheet is clamped into a sturdy frame to keep it square and is then heated with coils by an oven until it reaches the right temperature and pliability. Once the sheet has reached the specified softness and sag, it will be immediately pulled over the form, capturing an impression of the detail and allowed to cool. After the plastic is cooled enough to retain the shape of the form, the vacuum pressure ceases and the new part in sheet is removed from the vacuum table and the excess is trimmed off. Some facilities recycle these discarded plastic scraps and recycle them back into the sheet extruding process. Because of the stretching involved in this process, the sheet does not maintain perfectly even thickness. The interior of the part will approximately match the exterior of the geometry of the master form. This method is not as precise as some of the others, but is relatively cheap and might be the right method for your project. This is a technique commonly used for thin translucent plastic and the application of blister packaging, divider trays, and panels. Because the sheet material is often thin, you'll need to watch out for aggressively pointy geometry, which can tear the sheet. The application of fillets is your friend. Let's say I want to make a form for decorative ceiling panels. The material used for these master forms should be inert to heat and not melt on contact. You can make forms out of any number of materials, wood, plywood, aluminum, high density foams, and composite stock like MDF or LDF. The advantage of having porous or perforated material is that the vacuum can pull not just around your form, but through it, and release of the vacuum pressure will aid in the removal of the form sheet. There are, however, restrictions in the usage of this method. Too much additional height can result in tearing as there are limits to the plastic's ability to stretch. Other problems can arise in the form of webbing, where the walls are too high and straight, and the material cannot pull down and around this, it sometimes folds together. Depending on the thickness and size of your sheet, taller forms can be made, but every inch above the support platform makes it harder and more complex to form. It's not recommended to try and vacuum form geometry with severe undercuts, sharp sharps, or if you need perfectly uniform parts. You can have parts with holes, but they will have to be cut out of your part after the molding process.